I was in St. Joachim getting tires on my van that day. Um, I took the girls, I was going to take my two girls with me, they were almost one and three at the time. I was going to take them for a walk while my vehicle was being worked on so I didn't have to sit and keep them occupied. Um, and I was buckling my youngest into the stroller and my oldest was sitting on the footrest of the front of the stroller and then all of a sudden there was a screeching of tires and I looked up and there was a, a collision, an impact, and it was a shower of glass. It was everywhere, glass and debris, and then all of a sudden there's this, you know, I kind of covered myself like this and kind of covered the stroller with my arm, with my body to block the girls. And then there's, I looked up and there was a vehicle spinning towards us and it came within five feet of us. You know, had we been five feet to the left, we would have been dead without, without a doubt. And the vehicle crashed into the gas pumps. And then at that point, you know, it seemed like minutes, but it was only a couple of seconds, you know. At that point, we went across the street to get away from the gas pump in case there was some sort of explosion. You know, I didn't know what to expect. It's not like the movies, you know. And um, so I crossed the street to get away from the gas pumps in case there was an explosion. And that's when I checked my kids to make sure that they were okay. And there was glass in their hair, there was glass in their stroller, there was glass in our pockets, there was glass everywhere. And it's just a very scary moment and you don't really realize what had happened until you take a look at all of the moving parts and you realize how lucky you are to still be alive because of one or two people's bad decisions or bad judgment at that particular moment in time.